Good evening grandkids. I'm going to be doing a patio vlog and uh, I hope we'll get through this without a bunch of neighbors coming out or kids or anything. I have a couple of uh, pieces of mail and, uh, and then I want to talk to you about a book. So let me read uh, this one first. It's from Audrey Exner. Exnen? Exner, I think. It's uh, from Edwards, California. I used to live right close to Edwards. I lived in Lancaster, and uh, my husband at the time worked at Edwards. Uh, she sent me a picture of her and her significant other, which I won't share with you, because she might not wish me to do that. Oh my gosh, beautiful, beautiful <laughs> printing. I'll be able to read this well. Hi, Grandma Shirley. My name is Audrey. I have been watching your videos for a couple of years. I don't think I have ever commented on a video because I never quite know what to say. But I love the positive environment of your community. It's hard to find a nice place on the internet sometimes and watching your videos always makes me feel better I it, uh, that's nice I'm glad that you appreciate how nice the community that I have is on YouTube and also on Twitter and I work hard at keeping it that way so I spend most of my hours a day <laughs> sitting at my computer <laughs> I ordered one of the Granny Sheryl's Bookshelf tote bags and have been carrying it with me everywhere. I'm so glad that you enjoy it. I thought it was pretty cute. I am 20 years old and from Georgia, but I recently got married on Christmas Eve. That's nice. You'll always be able to remember your anniversary, or your husband will remember. They forget more easily. <laughs> My husband, last husband, and I got married on Valentine's Day, which he picked because he said, I'll remember that more easily. <laughs> and he did. We moved to Southern California. I remembered you mentioned that you used to live in the desert in one of your old vlogs. Yes, I did. So I went back to try to find the video when I did, I was so surprised. You said that you had lived in Lancaster and Palmdale. We live on Edwards Air Force Base. Yes, I know that place well. Whenever we need something in town, we go to those cities. What a small world that we... We also love the town Tehachapi. Yes, I've been to Tehachapi too. I love the drive up through there too, Tehachapi, um, because it reminds us of our hometown. Cool. I am liking it here, but I do miss all the green. <laughs> that reminds me of my mother, the first time she ever flew, or well, the only time she ever flew. And she came out to Arizona when we was living in Arizona in the desert uh, to visit because I had had a couple more children since I had left where she lived and of course she wanted to see them and uh, we had her walk around a little bit in the desert with us and look at all the pretty colored rocks and all the deserts it was when the desert was blooming and the flowers was on all cactus and uh, it was at a time that I really loved and uh, she just didn't see it. She would look around and say, I don't know what you see in all this dirt. <laughs> but that was the difference between her and I. A couple of weeks ago, I adopted two cats. Their names are Clutch, a boy, and Tink, a girl. That's so cute. They are both about a year old. I like to draw, paint, read, write, 
and have recently been crocheting. Well, I always did draw and paint and read and write, and I used to crochet. <laughs> Interesting. I have also started cooking a lot lately. I really enjoy it, but I've found that it's hard to find recipes that I really like. That's why I don't cook with a recipe. I just put things together that I like and it turns out good. <laughs> My husband wonders if you have ever played Fallout New Vegas, and if so, how you liked it. It's one of his favorite games. The games I enjoy playing are Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, Animal Crossing, Minecraft, Halo, and Skyrim. I'm always excited for new videos and will be anticipating your next. Much love from the South Carolina desert, Audrey Exner. Well, thank you so much, Audrey, for such a wonderful letter. And uh, to answer your husband's question, I have, I way back played uh, some of the very first part of uh, Fallout New Vegas, but I I don't know if I ever recorded any of it. Um, I recorded a, a few, couple of episodes of some, one of the Fallout games. I don't remember what it was. Uh, I'd have to look back through my playlists. I don't remember. Thank you so much. And all those games that you mentioned, Audrey, I don't play those except for Skyrim. <laughs> Thank you so much for a beautiful letter. Um, the other thing that I got in the mail was this pillow cover, which you will all recognize. Can you see this? Of course it says Rayloff. Hey, you, you're finally awake. <laughs> and my problem is there was no note put in it. Uh, there's no name on the packaging. So if somebody told me that they were sending me this, I don't remember who it was. I do remember seeing someone show this on the internet, on, the, uh, on my Twitter page. And I think I remember saying something about it, like, oh, I need that or something. Or maybe somebody asked me, would I like to have it? So I don't know how this came about. My memory is horrible. So the next thing, whoever sent me that, please let me know in the comments under this video. Uh, the other thing I would like to say, which is probably the only thing left that I'd like to say. Actually, I just wanted to do a patio vlog for you guys. When Remember when I was recording uh, The Call of Cthulhu? And uh, it was so really frightening and horrifying during all the beginnings of it. And then he got upstairs into a house or something. And of course it started the same old crap down this hallway and that hallway and the different rooms and him having to look for different things like a puzzle and that turned me off instantly and I quit playing it. I haven't touched it since. Probably won't. If the rest of the game had stayed like the first part was, I would have loved it. But during that, those recordings, I'm I mentioned something about not really knowing anything about Cthulhu and uh, someone asked me, well, don't you know Lovecraft? Haven't you read any of Lovecraft's books? And I said, I knew of the author, but I hadn't read anything. 
So this young lady, Gracie McVeigh, sent me this book. The Lovecraft Compendium. So there's a few different short stories in it. And uh, I'll read you her letter that she sent with it. Hi, Shirley. This was clear back in 2018. <laughs> My name's Grace, and I'm a student at Penn State. I'm sure I probably showed this and the book uh, on a, some blog that I made way back then about mail opening. And I'm a student at Penn State. <laughs> She's probably graduated and left there by now. I couldn't, I couldn't uh, write back to this because she'd never get it. I'm doing a challenge where I write a letter to a different person every week. You're my second to last person. <laughs> and I guess I never answered her. How terrible of me. Oh, and by the way, I'm finishing up my bottle of wine that I got for Christmas. And, and the way my brain is going, I don't remember if it was this past... It wasn't this past Christmas because we couldn't get together because of COVID. It was the Christmas before last. So that's how long I had a bottle of wine. <laughs> and I just poured the last of it. And it's still very good. I'm really enjoying the Dead Eye Gang series. See how long ago this was? I've got uh, number 42 playing as I'm writing this. Anigo's a lot of fun, especially his songs. However, whoever created his mod did a wonderful job. I'm still sad you lost Carjo. He's my favorite follower. I'm also glad you replaced Janessa. <laughs> I'm glad too. And when you say you sad that I lost Carjo. Was this uh, was this the one in which I lost him up in the in the swamps? And I kept looking all over for him, and I couldn't find him. And even after I ended that particular episode, I kept looking and looking and looking, and I never found him. What happened to him? I have no idea. I even checked back with the uh, Khajiit caravan where I got him, and uh, he wasn't with them. I went back to our where we lived, and he wasn't there, so I don't know what happened to him. He just disappeared off of the face of Skyrim. <laughs> they call the Call of Cthulhu playthrough is my favorite non-Skyrim one so. Far. I hope you keep it up. <laughs> no, I didn't because I got disillusioned with it. You mentioned in earlier videos about uh, comments telling you about H.P. Lovecraft. His works are great if you get the chance to read them. I've heard that he believed in the idea of people building stories off of other people's. Maybe he'd like the Call of Cthulhu game you're playing. I'm not sure if you've heard of the famous B-list horror movie, Evil Dead, but that's based off of his story, uh, Necronomicon. Well, Necronomicon is actually a fictional book mentioned in his story, The Hound. Interesting. I can't remember for sure, but I think Cthulhu, or his race, are mentioned in it. Maybe you could play an Evil Dead game for a grab bag someday. I don't know if I've heard of the Evil Dead in the list of games on Steam. I'll type it in and, and uh, see if it comes up, and I'll look at it and see what it's like. Merry Christmas from Grace. Yes, after 
this letter, I think I'm going to start looking at which way my stationery is facing before I write. <laughs> That's perfectly okay. Doesn't matter to me which way stationery is turned. Thank you so much. But now, uh, I had this letter tucked in with this book. Okay, it was because she mentioned uh, Lovecraft, that's why. This book was sent to me by Renee Ferguson, and thank goodness that she signed in it. I have such a hard time with this camera. I wanted to ask you guys something. This has some short stories in it. And I haven't read them yet. And I'd really like to. And I thought it would be something cool to read on my Granny Cheryl's Bookshelf series. Um, the stories are kind of short, but they're too long for just one reading. But I think that I, some of them are done in little short chapters. So I think that I might be able to read a little bit to a stopping point and maybe it'll leave it on like a cliffhanger till I can read the next installment. So what I'd like to know, and you can leave your comments in down below, would you like for me to start reading the stories through this book? Um, I would like to read them if you'd like to listen to them. And uh, I know that I always post everything at 7.30 in the morning, my time. But it's because so many people have told me that they listen to my videos or watch my videos when they're having coffee of a morning or their cereal before they go to work and before they go to school. So I know that the times are different all over the world and I have viewers all over the world, but I can't accommodate everyone. So I accommodate myself <laughs> and my country. <laughs> so uh, I don't know what time it'll make it for everybody else, but it'll still be at 7.30 in the morning. But what I was going to say is that it would be really cool if you left the videos until your night time, whenever it is, wherever you're at, and uh, let me read them to you as a bedtime story. That would be kind of creepy at night, wouldn't it? So let me know in the comments what you think. I would really like to read them to you. Uh, and I'd really know what they, like to know what they are myself. <laughs> so that's all I really have this evening. It's just been so nice out and I decided I wanted to sit out here for a while. It's not hot. And the sun's past the roof line and uh, everything's reasonably quiet out here. No neighbors out with loud music and so on. I was going to record one night and they was out barbecuing and had a had a radio outside turned up loud so that everybody could hear it so I just went back in the house <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to get you to hear me anyway you always have a hard time hearing me as it is <laughs> and and I'm sorry that I can't talk in a louder voice that's just this is just my natural voice I don't scream and yell and carry on on my videos I can't do that I hate it and I don't watch them. Uh, anyway, let me know down below what you think about me reading that book to you. It'll, it'll last over several weeks. And I think it'd be kind of fun. So I'm going to say good evening now to all my grandkids out there. And I hope you have a good evening or a good day, whichever it is for you. And I will see you later. Bye-bye, grandkids.